Sports presents, live from Dope Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee, Florida, it's the Pitt Panthers versus the Florida State Seminoles. First year coach Bo DeFazio leads the Panthers onto the field. The Panthers came out and warmed up in this uh, heat and humidity, and I imagine the temperature, Myron, is over 80 degrees. The humidity factor uh, presents a problem for the visiting team, but I noticed that Coach Fazio had the Panthers warming up in just their T-shirts and uh, didn't seem to have them on the field that very long pre-game. The captains for the two teams are out in the middle of the field right now with the officials for tonight's ball game. For Pitt, the captains offensively, Julius Dawkins, Ron Sams, and John Brown. Defensively, Pete Short, Dave Fizzoli and Yogi Jones. Florida State has won the toss and will be the Southern Independence Group of Officials. There you see the mascot, David Williams, aboard the horse renegade. The flaming spear goes into the 50-yard line and Doak Campbell Stadium turns into a veritable madhouse. The officials representing the major independents, the line judge, Earl Birdie Jr., the back judge, Weldon Waits, and the clock operator, Bob Albertson. The umpire, Donald McDonald, is also from the major independent. Six and now this third one. 18-yard gain. Williams to Hester. First and 10, Florida State from its own 38. Sweeping left side with a football for number 14. The senior from Tallahassee. Another play action fake. And this pass is batted down by Rick Cranach. The pass trying for first down. And apparently they're going to get one here. I have formation for Williams. The pitch. And with a football, Greg Allen. And it appears that he did get to midfield, and Allen gets the first down. Bowden has got to take uh, draw a heavy sigh because that play came very near uh, came very near to being stopped. Tommy Flynn, the safety man, penetrating, but he could not make the stop. Finally, Dolman did, but not before the first down comes at the 50-yard line. First and ten, Florida State. No score yet. Play action pick, and he wants it all again. Williams with a man open. Pass intercepted. With that football downfield is the Panthers' Timmy Lewis. The six-foot, 195 senior quarterback from Perkesy, Pennsylvania. Jesse Hester, 24-yard punt return unofficially for Cedric Jones and Florida State in business at the pit 36, first and 10. The pass batted down by Alan Wenglikowski. Williams trying to at its own 48-yard line. Greg Allen. Breaks one tackle and gets the first down into pit territory three. The eye of the Tiger all week long in the dressing room. Draw play. And with the football is Ken Burnett, the fullback, and he picks his way and still on his feet. He gets the first down into the pit 35-yard line. for 16 for 21. This time he gives the ball. Billy Allen, a tailback, can't get outside the Panther pursuit. And he'll take a loss on the play. Tackle to the right side. And another draw play, and this time it is Greg Allen, and he doesn't have much running room. Coming down Lewis very early and very often. Williams on third and ten. Pass almost intercepted at the 50-yard line. Intended for Tony Johnson, Troy Hill made a good fullback. Marlon McIntyre, a fellow who built himself up in the offseason to about 217 pounds. He had been the back for the Seminoles, does. First and ten at his own 20-yard line. On the sweep, Ricky Williams looking for an alley. It's not there. The Panther defense strings it out very well. I think Williams may have... Well, the defense got a good rest during that long pit drive, so perhaps they're a little more active now as they uh, come back out on the field. And incidentally, Pitt announced just before the ball game that the Pitt-West Virginia game on October 2nd is a sellout. Bill Moss made a fine job of containment there on that play. Second down, we'll call it nine. With the football on the draw play, Ricky Williams. And he is strung out to the sideline, but he picks up about Florida State now with a third down and six at the 24-yard line. Williams faking the draw play, evading the pressure, stepping out, open man. That is Burnett, the fullback, trips out of one tackle and gets close to first down yardage. Short burst. Line of scrimmage, the 24-yard line, first down. High slot left for quarterback Kelly Lowry. Got a mix-up back there, but the straight-ahead play by fullback Ken. No gain on the play, second down and 10. Panthers dig in. High flanker left. Pitch back toward the flanker. Panthers try to string it out. Ricky Williams fights his way forward for a couple of yards. Out across the 25 to the 27. And the Panthers lead 17-10 on the scoreboard. Option to the left this time. Panthers string it out. With the football is Ricky Williams, and down he goes. Yogi Jones made the tackle, but Tommy Flynn, Michael Woods, and Pete Short helped to string it out that time. Yogi Jones finally brought the man down. 
along the line of scrimmage for no gain. It's third down and seven. 4-12 left of the second quarter. The clock is turning at this moment. Tommy Flynn not being surprised by this option play. Coming up on the outside and closing that off. So he read the play well. Flanker to the right is Tony Johnson. They split a man to the left side. Hassan Jones out of the eye formation. Lowry with a draw play and it smelled. Ricky Williams runs into the waiting arms of Bill Moss for no gain on the play. The defensive coach pointed out the other day that Bill Moss had played a tremendous game against North Carolina. McKinnon, first and ten at the 16. With a draw play. Forward, Ricky Williams. And he gets inside the 15 to the 14-yard line where Rick Pranak, the Panther linebacker, made the stop. Right side of the field is to the left. Lowry rolls that way. And missing in the end zone. The intended receiver had gotten a step on the defender. That's fullback Ken Burnett. But the pass was just a bit wide. Dan Short was close to him. But if the pass had been on target, it wouldn't have been close enough. So that'll set up a second and goal at the four. The clock stops at 147. Cut play action pass. A fake to Ricky Williams heading up the middle. And then the toss into the corner. Incomplete, of course. So the Pitt Panthers have their work cut out for them. But the Florida State Seminoles, they've been a... a, a Happy team out there tonight, and they've caught fire again here. Two tight ends. The flanker left is McKinnon on second and goal at the four. That is Ricky Williams. Needs a block. Gets down to about the one-yard quarterback. On the naked bootleg, down he goes. Fine defensive. I would player. say that he and Rick Franak are the two real Mr. Steadies of that Panther defense. Lowry, the punter, has a loose snap. Kick is blocked. It goes straight up in the air. Loose ball. They're fighting for it at the five-yard line, and they go into the end zone for a Panther touchdown. They're down about half a yard. Not even that. It's inches. Pitch back. Greg Allen got the first down and more in the driving rain, and he gets to the 35-yard line. Did the ball pop loose? That's the question. Look at the puddle for the technician down on the field. I'll tell you what, I, I wouldn't want to be holding onto a wire in these sort of conditions. Florida State first and 10 at the pit 37 yard line. Nowhere to go for Ken. 226 left of the third quarter. Flanker left formation. Loose football. Who has it? The Panthers begin to celebrate. We have Lowry. Pitch back. Allen. One man. He tries to beat another man, but a marker is down as Allen gets to the 10 yard line. From the 30. Lowry. Little pressure this time. Nice reception on the swing pass by Cedric Jones. And Jones throws it up right at midfield. Kelly Lowry out of the eye. Option. Steps aside for one man and is tackled after a gain of about two yards. Upfield. We're here. Are alive. No question. Johnson split receiver to one side. Jones to the other. Short pocket pass for Lowry. And it's in the air. Is it a completed pass and a loose ball? Nope. They say incomplete. He did not hold it long enough. Hassan Jones, the wide receiver, pop pass over the middle in.